Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. Today I will be making some paper twist hearts and I hope that you will join me. The supplies that you will need today are your paper twist rope here. You know, you choose the color you want to work with. You will also need some ribbon. Today I am working with my Valentine's Day project, so I'm using some Valentine ribbons. I also will be using my scissors. You will need your glue gun with some extra glue sticks. You will need a ruler and you will also need something to flatten your uh, paper twist with. And you will also need some floral. You can use dried floral if you like, or you can use silk flowers. You can even use greenery if you like. We do need to do some prep work first. So you'll need your ruler this time and your scissors. Now, you're gonna need to cut paper twist rope down to 12 inch pieces. So you just use your ruler and measure out 12 inches and you're going to need 10 pieces of these. Go ahead and do that. Once you have your 10 pieces, the next step you want to do is to flatten your ropes. You can use a rolling pin if you like, you can use a jar. So just take that and then flatten your rope as much as you can. I have been twisting and bending my twist rope. I'm trying to make it a little bit more pliable. So once you've done that and you're happy with how flattened and soft your uh, paper twist rope is, go ahead and uh, pick two pieces. And then you're going to go ahead and just glue the tips right here. Put a dab of glue there and attach that just like that now that we have the tip uh, glued there i need five of these ropes here and we're just going to go ahead and build this just layer it like that but what i want to do is Remove the the second and the fourth. So I'm going to have a, a gap in there. And let me grab my ruler. That's going to be about a half an inch space in between. So go ahead and glue the the third and the fifth one down. And then try to keep that uh, half an inch space. So you go, you're going to need three ropes on top of this piece here. And let me just make sure the glue dries here. Okay, once that happens, go ahead and just turn this over. It's just a lot easier that way. And then dab a uh, glue here and here and attach your, uh, your second and your fourth rope. Just like that. And then let that dry too. Okay, and then turn it back over. 
we are now ready to weave so go ahead and take one of your ropes and there's just um, work that in and out so you create that um, weave pattern now I find it easier just to raise the the top ones there that way you can slide your um, your cross piece there as close as you can down here and then that blue catch that one you just want to make sure you um, glue the end pieces here and then just bend that back over take another one and this goes under three of those just like that and then pull these three up And then that's going to fall like that. I'm going to turn this over so I can uh, glue this piece down here. five ropes going this way see two four five and I have five on the side but see how my waffle is looking wonky so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another uh, rope and then um, weave that through that should even out my waffle make it look more square see there so that if that if this happens to you this is the way to uh, correct that. I'm just going to line my cross right here. See how? Like, make it a straight line there. That'll help. Get that one and then glue this one down too. This is going to be the front side of your heart. Once this is completed, turn it and we're going to weave this side also. And we're going to turn this section here is going to get woven in like this. I'm going to go ahead and work on this side here.
Okay, so now we have the front and the back all woven. And then just uh, realign all your um, ropes here. Make sure they're in order. Then you want to just fold it in half like this. And see, like that. Fold it together like that. And then go ahead and run glue. Probably just on the points for now. That way it'll hold together. Now you can hold it down like this until your glue sets. Or if you have if you have one of these from the Dollar Tree, use it. Make sure everything gets glued together and it stays together. those back off so here is our heart our paper twist heart isn't that cute now we're gonna put some ribbon on here I'm getting ready to put my ribbons on I have this it's iridescent and pink metallic rope here look at that so cute really cute so i'm just gonna tie uh, the, all the straps together right here and i'm going to use the same rope here as a hanger for my heart and i'm just gonna put a knot here just like that But I think that um, I am going to go with about, let's see, probably right there would be really good. That's a nice little loop right there. And then let's go ahead and tie this off. And I'm going to cut that. There we go. So see there? That's a really good length. So that's, this is about 12 inches and then uh, another six. So I would say cut about uh, 20 inches and then you can always trim the excess. I have this, uh, this is one eighth ribbon. It is pink with a metallic trim. Very cute. I also made another bow. Where did I put it? I have this one too. Really cute. So I can put that there. That'll look really cute. I'm undecided so I'm going to try both of them and uh, see which one works. Okay. 
and just do a simple little bow. I don't want it too big. So that is really cute. I just, I think it's quite dainty. <laughs> but it is cute though. I think I will go with this one. This one's a little, a little larger and put some glue on here and attach this. Just like that. Very cute. I like it. And then I have my floral here. Now these, uh, my floral came from the Dollar Tree. I just pulled off the little picks here. And I'm going to tuck them in here. Now you can use dry flowers if you like. Um, you know, you can use like a, some baby breath if you want. You can also use just a uh, greenery. It doesn't have to be flowers. Or you could use a combination of all three. You know, your preference. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Adorable. I like it. And I'll just hang it up like that. I think that my paper twist heart turned out really cute. I'm quite happy with it. And I hope that I was able to give you some ideas on what to create for Valentine's Day. Give these paper twist hearts a try. Make a few and have some fun. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas and I will see you next time.